continues in Citrus County, where it's been one week now since Hurricane Adalia's floods receded. Yeah, some homeowners are concerned this recovery could take many months. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer shows us tonight the cleanup effort in Crystal River, one of the hardest hit areas in Tampa Bay. All across coastal parts of Citrus County, this is what it looks like. Piles of debris in parking lots, on sidewalks, out in people's yards, waiting to be collected, and people struggling to recover. It's gut-wrenching for this longtime Crystal River couple to look out at the neighborhood they love. We kind of take pride in the, in the area. Um, we're kind of the old town down here. <laughs> and it hurts to see it like this. A week after the floods receded, the destruction from Hurricane Idalia is everywhere, along roadsides, in yards, including Randy McConnell's, he says the exhaustion is getting to him. It has been the biggest thing. Um, I crash in the chair at, you know, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, just can't go any further. Images from Randy's home security video show about four feet of water on his property. It got into his home and ruined an apartment they own. We did pride ourselves on the house at one point. Right now, it looks terrible. Business owners along Citrus Avenue are cleaning up, too. We have <laughs> indicated it. Adelia. Explorida, a manatee swim tour company, marked a water line 18 inches up the wall. Fortunately, we were able to actually get in here <laughs> the evening of the flooding and start clearing the water out. That allowed the store to reopen as soon as possible. Other nearby shops aren't as lucky and remain closed this week. It's very, a very big loss for most of the businesses here. Uh, just the traffic, uh, local traffic, but also international travel was canceled in advance of the storms. Citrus County's Emergency Management Director, Christopher Evan, says the countywide damage will likely exceed $100 million. A storm surge up to seven feet caused the vast majority of the destruction. Hundreds of homes and businesses were impacted. City of Crystal River really took the brunt. Uh, they lost their city hall, their fire department, their public works department. Evan says county crews and contractors are working tirelessly to get all the debris, but it could take weeks. You have a lot of people who have damage to their homes, and it's going to be a slow and steady process. Uh, it, they will get to those people. It's just a, it does take time. Some homeowners are worried that it could take months for them to get back on their feet. I would say six months will be better back in business here as far as cleaned up, kind of back to normal life. And Citrus County is one of four counties in Tampa Bay where people are eligible for FEMA assistance. We have the information on our website, fox13news.com. In Citrus County, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.